Hi guys, welcome on my YouTube channel, Crochet Pink Pumpkin. I'm so happy to be with you today to show you the double loop stitch. I will show you with regular yarn and shiny yarn. Because if you saw the bag that I made, you may need uh, to do it with shiny yarn. So I will show you at the end of the video how to do it. But it's easier to, to show you with a classic yarn first. You can find the free patterns for uh, this bag on my blog crochetpinkpumpkin.com. I will be posting it in two days. So if you are watching the video from two days ago, it's already out. And let's get started with regular yarn. You start by making a chain regular. As you can tell, I'm left-hander, but I also try to make a tutorial with right hand. It will appear on the right side of uh, your video. So try not to be too judgmental because it's actually very hard. And I really try to show you like the highlight of this stitch. So um, please leave me a comment if you have any question as well. So you slide your hook in like that in the chain and you twist your yarn over your uh, fingers like that as I show you on the video and with a hook you go from outside to inside you grab the thread the three threads and you pass it through the first loop on your hook like that you make a yarn over and single crochet so the second part of the stitch is very easy because it's like a second uh, single crochet sorry so you can rewind the video if you want to to see it with my right hand but you know if you watch with my left hand also you you will get it it's very easy so you slide your hook in the stitch you twist it over your finger like that and you go outside from inside you pass it through the first loop on your hook a little bit of struggle over here like that and then single crochet very easy so i will show you um, a full row but don't don't hesitate to go to the end of the video if you want to uh, to watch it with a shiny yarn also with this type of stitch what you need to do is um, a regular row so like a single crochet row for example and then a double loop stitch row because if you do it on every rows you will have loops on both sides of your work and except if it's what you want you want to alternate you know one single crochet rows and one double loop stitch rows because for my bags for example the the back side of my crochet is a lining so you know i didn't want loops on both sides and it also gives you the opportunity to do increases and decreases you know when you have a row of regular stitch you can you can do it so i will fasten the video a little bit more So now you are done with your uh, row of double stitches. You make single crochet like that. Very easy. And then the row after you will make double stitch, uh, double loop stitch again. It's very hard to say. It's also very hard to record myself in English. It's very challenging, I will say. So 
So now I will show you with a shiny yarn so you understand why I told you to use a stitch, ma stitch marker to recognize the stitches because you know it's quite complicated to, to see the stitches. So in my pattern I recommend you to use a stitch marker to recognize the stitches. And so I just made a row of single crochet. As I said earlier you have to alternate and there you go, you make a double uh, loop stitch outside from inside and single crochet. So I just wanted to show you how it looks like. I'm very obsessed with that yarn. It's um, loop and thread from Michaels and I think the, the yarn name is called the Shiny Home, I believe. And the color is peacock, and I think it's beautiful. I made a, I made a bag with it. It's so pretty. As I said earlier, you can find the free patterns of my bag on my blog crochetpinkpumpkin.com. And please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I try to make tutorials like that very often, at least once a week. And I see you very soon, and I wish you a beautiful week. Bye bye.